Welcome to the pronunciation lesson with Ronnie. That took me a bit, but I've gotten it now. Um, today I'm going to teach you the differences between one, two, three, four um, letters in English that are very difficult. But after you hear and see this lesson, it's going to be a lot easier for you. Again, with most uh, letter sounds in English, the reason why it's so difficult is because in your language, maybe you do not have this sound at all, or <clears throat> the sounds in your languages are very, very similar. So instead of saying a P, it's a mix between a P and an F. So let's go through one thing that's very, very important when you're learning any word that you're going to say. And it is what I've written in blue here. Um, unvoiced and voiced. Do you know what the difference is between unvoiced and voiced? I will teach you. What you have to do is you have to put your hand on your throat. Not too hard. Don't kill yourselves. And you're going to make this sound. Just the letter. You're going to go... Now, when you make the p sound, you have to be careful of two things. Eww. The first one is your mouth. What is your mouth doing? Okay. When you make the p sound, your lips have to go together p and blow out like you're smoking. So it's p p p okay. I like to call this kiss mouth. So when you make a kiss mouth, it's like you're going to kiss someone, you go, or you can call it a smoking mouth, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> when you are saying the P sound, you're going to make your kiss mouth, you're going to put your hand on your throat, and you're going to realize that your throat or your vocal cords do not vibrate. So try. You should not feel any vibration in your throat. This non-vibration is called unvoiced. So if something is unvoiced, it means it does not vibrate in your throat. <clears throat> so unvoiced means no vibration. Okay, so the P sound is a kiss with no vibration. Let's look at <clears throat> an example of a voiced letter. We're going to make the same mouth style and we're going to blow a kiss or a smoke. But the difference between the P and the B is that when we make the B sound, you have to vibrate your throat or your um, vocal cords. So you have to go B, B. B. Your lips are making the same movement, but the vocal cords are going to vibrate. So try this. B, B, B. Then if you do it without voicing it, it's P, P, P. So your lips are making the same movement, but your vocal cords vibrate and do not vibrate. So if it's voiced, it means <clears throat> that your vocal cords vibrate. The next letter that a lot of people have problems with is the F. Now, when I make the F sound, I need to do something very important. I need to take my teeth and stick them out over my bottom lip. Um, I like to call these Beaver teeth. Have you ever seen a beaver? Do beavers have teeth? Sometimes be the animal beaver has teeth. Um, and beavers have very predominant or very big front teeth because they chew ah, trees. So when I say beaver teeth, I mean you stick your teeth out like a beaver. Okay, so this sound 
is very different from the P and the B sound because first of all, your mouth is making a different um, position. So when you make the F sound, your teeth are out and it is unvoiced. So again, you're going to put your hand on your throat and go. The air is going to come out at the bottom of your teeth, between your bottom lip and your top teeth. So it's it feels like you're pushing the air down. With the P and the B, you're pushing the air out like you're smoking. With the F, the air is going down. So try. <clears throat> when we say the V sound or the V, we're again, again, we're going to have beaver teeth. So you're going to stick your teeth out. Like that, that time, it is voiced. So, like the F sound, same mouth position, but you must vibrate your vocal cords. So it's v, v, v. This is rather difficult, so I suggest you practice v, v, v. It's, it might take a little bit of time and a little bit of practice for you to get it, but the important thing to understand is that F does not vibrate and V vibrates. So, a lot of people maybe have problems with the B and the F. Okay? So you have to look at this. The B is a kiss mouth. B, B. And the F is a beaver mouth. And it's... We're going to go through some exercises to help you say these words, even though they're very difficult. Let's check it out. The first one, remember, mouth like a kiss or like you're smoking and it's going to be unvoiced and you say, pan, pan. You can smoke a pan. Good. The next one, we're going to voice it. So it's the exact same ending, but it's b b ban. So we have pan, ban. The ends of these words will vibrate. So you have to be careful. You want to listen to the beginning of the word. So it's pan and b b ban. You try. Pan, ban. Good. <clears throat> Then we have the F word, fan, fan. So you're going to want to stick your teeth out and blow the air down and say fan. Again, with the voiced sound, you're going to want to stick your teeth out, but you're going to vibrate your vocal cords and say van, van. Try these two together. Fan, van, fan. Van. Try this one. Pan. Fan. Beaver mouth. Sorry. Kiss mouth. Pan. Beaver teeth. Fan. Pan. Fan. Let's try these ones. Ban. Van. Ban. Out. Van. Down. So, when the, you guys do these two together, it's also difficult. So we have to practice the sounds. Let's look at another example of the P, the B, and the F. The first one we have, again, is P, P, P. So you say Puck, P, Uck, Puck. The next one we have with the B sound is B, 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 Buck, Buck. So we have Puck and Buck. Question mark. We have a word that rhymes with puck and buck, and it starts with an F. So you can say uck, uck. Try this. Uck, b, uck, uck. Don't say a bad word. And the last two <clears throat> that we're just going to contrast the P and the F. These are difficult, especially if you're a Korean speaker. So you want to be careful. It's pork. You're going to blow a kiss or have a cigarette. P 
pork. <clears throat> Something you eat with your pork is your fork. Fork. Pork. Fork. I eat pork with a fork. Do you like pork? I have a fork. I eat pork with a fork. Ta-ta for now.